in the given figure lobe number 2 gives rise to so as we all know there are certain developmental lobes which are going to give rise to different kind of teeth okay so this is very important concept which we have to understand before going ahead with this particular question so uh, let me give you an overview of the developmental lobes and the teeth which arise from those lobes so generally there is a question which is asked in exam is that uh, the minimum number of lobes required for the formation of a complete tooth and that is one lobe okay so the least number of lobes that is required for formation of a tooth is one lobe and that gives rise to your primary incisors so your primary incisors are going to be arise from one lobe only now if i just change this question and modify this question to ask you that the minimum number of lobes required for formation of a permanent tooth then answer will be four lobes now in this what are the permanent teeth which get arise from it so the permanent incisors then the second thing is your permanent canines then your premolars all your premolars there is one exception which I will just mark as star mark here for now and then all other permanent molars all other permanent molars so what do I mean by all other permanent molars that also I will be explaining you when we reach to the five lobes now this is very important generally they will ask about the five lobed teeth in the exam so remember five lobes give rise to five teeth okay and what are those five teeth we can see this particular table and this is very important that is uh, the permanent first molars whether it is maxillary or it is mandibular they will be arising from your five ball five lobes primary second molars whether they are maxillary or they are mandibular they will be arising from five lobes and three cusped mandibular second premolars we know that second premolars uh, the mandibular second premolars are basically two types okay one is three cusp type and another is two cusp type okay so the three cusp type will be arising from five lobes while these will be arising from five lobes while two cusp type will be arising from four lobes so that's why i made a star mark here so premolars except three cusp type uh, mandibular second premolars all premolars will be arising from four lobes okay if it would be two cusp type mandibular second molar that is also going to arise from four lobes okay so this is how we can remember the five lobes five teeth concept that is prime permanent first molars will be arising from the five lobes whether it is maxillary or mandibular and your permanent uh, the primary second molars will be arising from five lobes whether it is mandibular or maxillary okay now coming back to the question here in the given figure here we can see that this is the buccal aspect this is the mesial aspect this is the distal aspect and this is the lingual aspect how i can identify this i just when i try to identify the mandibular first molars i just see the number of cusp yes five cusp are there and then i see the smallest cusp and the smallest cusp here is the distal cusp so in mandibular first uh, permanent molars the smallest cusp is your distal cusp okay that's how i can make up whether it is um, mesial side or distal side and to identify the buccal side i'll see the three cusps should be aligned towards the buccal area okay and that's why it is buccal side here now uh, if uh, i just name different cusp here and the name of the cusp will be same as the name of the developmental lobes which will be arising uh, which will be giving rise to the cusp okay so here this particular cusp is your mesiobuccal cusp this one is your distobuccal cusp this one is your distal cusp this one is your mesio uh, sorry distolingual cusp and this one is your mesiolingual cusp now 
Now the lobes which will be giving rise to these particular cusps will be named as such. That means mesolingual lobe will be giving rise to mesolingual cusp. Now we have been asked about the second number. Okay. So this is your mesolingual cusp that will be arising from the mesolingual lobe. So the answer to this question will be 4 that is mesolingual cusp. You can go through the explanation further uh, given at the bottom of this video to get information about other teeth and their lobes and cusps.